store, and store in a cool place for two or three weeks. So for generic garlic taste, peel several cloves of garlic. Put Jay, in are you gonna read them out loud? Okay, you want me to read them out loud? Yeah, I've been sitting here an hour waiting. Yeah, let's get which one, rules. Joe. I want to okay. play the game. We'll play the game. All right, I'm trying to read these. Okay, are you and gonna I, mumble? I will tell you in a moment. Are you gonna cry? Uh, are you gonna cry? Shut up, you Joe. Cry now. You want to play? You want to go wanna get play? Mom? You want to play? You want to play the game? Yes. Just read the rules. First, first rule. Okay, bruise, bruise. The basil leaves lightly using a mortar and pestle. Pour the mixture into a clean, dry bottle and top it up with the rest of the oil. Cover and store in a cool place for two to three weeks. Strain the oil through a mush, mush, a muslin, muslin lined sieve, leaving it to drip through without squeezing the leaves. Pour into a clean it's bottle. Oils no. containing fresh herbs can grow harmful herbs. molds. To protect against this, remove the herbs once they have flavored the oil, or Maybe use so dried. Are you sure you're reading the right book? Is this even, is this even relevant? It's, it's the thing. It's the, you know, it's the stuff. But where's the basil card? Uh, I'm there's, not finding it's that. It's in there, you know. Um, tapas of almonds, olives, and marinated cheese. These three simple dishes create a delicious Spanish medley to Give serve. Give me the instructions. The, I'm reading the instructions. Give me the instructions. I'll do it better. No, this is to make the marinated... Okay, I play the pestle, and I bruise the basil! Yes. I bruise the basil! Wait, you have to roll a five. 